or welcome back to my channel, Jen Joy Plans. Today I have my January 22 to June 22 six month recap. I like to do these on my channel to just kind of go over all the spreads, although almost I'm pretty positive like 100% of these spreads are plan with me's that you can find on my channel, like weekly plan with me's, but um, wanted to go through it all just in like one collective video so i'll try not to chat too much and i'm definitely not going to spend too much time on the monthlies because they're always a fail for me let's be real but this was january monthly this monthly was from sugar pop fizz i think it's called like aurora or something this art came out last year but i didn't get to use it and i do love how this monthly turned out super cute then we celebrated Christmas late in my family, so I got to use one more Christmas spread, which was amazing, and this was like such a good transition kit. I love this. I kind of forgot about this kit, but like so, 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 so good. Um, this week was good because I was still on break, but um, what was I going to say? Oh, but we kind of got some sad news. That's when we found out that my siblings were going to move to Arizona. <laughs> so it's kind of an emotional week. And then, um, but I love the hollow foil and the Christmas spirit. Then we jumped straight into full winter. I do love this spread as well. I color blocked it. It was from Glam Planner. I think it was a mystery from who knows when, but love it. This was a, I wish I remembered all the names, Sugar Pop Fizz Kit. Obviously something exciting happened, but I didn't mark what it was. So, hmm, maybe this was a PR announcement. I bet you that's what it is, that I was on the Sugar Pop Fizz PR team. But this was exciting because I really challenged myself with fun foils, and I got this like purple fun foil from Plana Hannah, and color blocked it and put it underneath, and loved it so I really I think this was when I was like okay I'm gonna try to do a fun foil once a month at least to kind of use up what I have and just to like try different things right so this was a great week as well then this week was not my favorite spread not my favorite kit I got it as mystery and I wasn't able to sell it so here we are I did the best that I possibly could with it um, and I paired it with hollow, which I just don't think was the move, but living and learn. Then February monthly, I used some leftovers from a sugar pop fizz, like, uh, one of the collective sale freebies. Then this kit has been sitting in my collection for five ever. And it, I used like hot pink foil with it. And I think it turned out so cute. It's a kit from sticky essentials. But I know lots of other shops use this art, but this like vibrant, so cute, vibrant pink, I should say. Um, so yeah, overall, like this was a really fun like way to kick off February. And I feel like it was fun to kind of use these like darker colors for the winter um, since this was an anytime kit. Then I used a photo kit from Shop Jessica Hearts and it's this like New York base kit and it came or I bought the matching gold foil that goes with it. And again, I just don't think like this was my favorite just because I'm not a photo kit user like I want to be. I just, I'm just not. <laughs> this was such a fun spread. This was the Corella kit and this was a Franken plan, which I never do anymore, but that's like... Jen Joy plans roots with Franken planning. Um, look at the date cover, a little magic going on. So cute. And yeah, this kit was super fun. I got the full boxes in a like random grab bag years ago from SPC and then pulled in kind of this double box and lots of like, lots of everything. And I remember Gabrielle Plan sent me like her leftovers from this kit so long ago but this was a really exciting week because I did get my teaching job for like the next school that I'm going to so it was fun because it kind of was like in talks back um in August and then it got like finalized this week so that would felt really good to like go into the spring um and the rest of the school year kind of knowing my plan for next year Okay, love this spread. This was another mystery. I think this might have been the last mystery that I got and I paired it with um, 
gold foil and we went to Arizona this week so I felt like kind of the little cactus vibes were nice and it brought like a little bit of sunshine for February and oh that's so funny it was my dog's first haircut she was so overdue but she had um a what was I gonna say she had her surgery her like to get spayed so she had to wait so long for her haircut um but yeah so that was a good week March I used this really fun monthly from Sugar Pop Fizz it's the Lucky Charms then I used this repeat kit that I got in a random pull from Crest Press and I paired in this like light purple foil that I actually got from Shea Plans and I love this kit. I used it last year for Valent or for St. Patrick's Day, and then this year I wanted to use it again in the springtime, and it almost landed on St. Patrick's Day, but um, kind of like moved it up a little bit for just like the first week of March. Then this was another Sticky Essentials kit that I've been hoarding for a really long time. Is the Peachy Art? I love orange, so this was just like so exciting to use, and. Um, worked out pretty well and I love it. I remember struggling for boxes a big time, but you know, we made it work. And it doesn't like, I don't know, this, I feel like it doesn't feel like a March kit, but like I said, March, like springtime is very anytime kit for me. So I was really stretching here. All right. This was the week of St. Patrick's Day and I kind of did like an alternative St. Patrick's Day nod with like the desert rainbow vibes and I love that it's kind of been my favorite thing last year like I said I used the lucky or the um this kit that kind of had some like rainbow elements and then this was kind of the same so that's been really fun to do that for holidays. I color blocked and Carly Plains had the most perfect pairing for color blocking and it was great. So I love a good color blocking moment. I like truly fell in love with color blocking kind of I think this half of the year. So it's been fun to do. This kit is called Wildflower and it's from I got it from Glam Planner, but then this tall box is from Crest Press. This was another super cute spread. I absolutely adore the Daisy Bottom Washi and these colors. I feel like it's been fun to see when people use this kit because it, I liked it as like a spring kit, but I know a lot of people used it in like August as a transitional kit or even September and, or summer and it was great. Ooh, this was when Bridgerton season two came out. Good times. Okay, love this kit, love this spread. Another color blocking moment, Sugar Pop Fizz, just like the mini kits work so well for color blocking, um, at least for me. I'm sure it would probably stress some people out, but I like the challenge of being able to use like every sticker possible. So, um, but yeah, this was the week of spring break and I paired it with hollow foil. So cute, these colors, this art, everything, so cute. And I remember this came with three steam boxes and I really worked hard to like space them out. And I'm really proud of that because I still kind of wanted to try the scenes. And like I said, I feel like it worked out pretty good. Here we are in April and this is when I abandoned monthlies. <laughs> and then was this spring break too? Maybe last week was spring? Oh, last week it started spring break, the Friday. And then this was my full spring break. So I chose like kind of a relax home office type of kit. Um, we went over to the lake near us and that was really fun to just be there, relax, recharge. And yeah, I color blocked this week and I brought in my own date covers because I wanted to do my own set of colors. I needed two of this like orange, rust orange color. It's just my favorite in kits. And I'm just loving like the variety of colors. It's so fun to look back and see like how, I don't know, some people like to come up with like a color theme for the month, but I like them to be like really different. In contrast, this was another kit from the Crest Press Random Poll. It was an Easter kit, which worked out because I didn't really like any of the Easter kits that came out this year 
and there really wasn't much so this worked perfectly and I brought I had like the perfect periwinkle washi to match and so I paired it with hollow foil which I feel like is not the most obvious but I do feel like it worked and um, it kind of let the bolder colors speak for themselves which was great then this spread is so cute it's from wildflower from um sugar pop fizz and then i brought in this tall box from that floor kit from last year and i feel like she just accompanies this kit very well and brings that extra spring vibes i paired it with um the gold daisy foil which wasn't originally my intention but plan shifted and changed and i threw it in for this kit i feel like maybe it was like a little much but it still looks good and whew, I remember yeah this is when didn't quit my job but I wanted to I was really struggling like really really struggling during this like April um time because it's just really hard time in teaching then I got to go visit my friend down in California and visit her baby meet her baby and that was so fun in this kit I just wanted like a kit that it kind of gave off like warm place vibes because it was really warm where we went but also like I didn't want a full-blown summer kit so that's where I landed on this kit and it's the Moana kit from SPC it's so cute I love the browns I just I don't know I just love all the color combos it's so good I just live for kits with the like bold contrast and color so I feel like these are just like really strong contrast and like sometimes SPC just nails it. Like this color combo, this color combo. So good. All right. This is my May monthly. Here is, what was this? Oh, this was kind of like the um, couple days of being still with my friend. And I thought we were like, I mean, we celebrated her birthday, kind of. Oh, and Mother's Day. So I kind of did like a celebration kit because there was kind of a lot of little celebrations of celebrating her, celebrating um, my mom, and we celebrated with some friends some things, Cinco de Mayo, teacher appreciation. So did a little celebration kit. And again, this was a mystery. Oh, this was my last mystery because I know I was holding out for like a birthday kit. And then it came to be this one, which wasn't my favorite, but it still looks good. I'm glad I used it because I think it would sit in my collection for a really long time if I didn't. Then this was my first week of printable kits. Living and learn. <laughs> I remember, wrote, wrote, figured out printable kits. Um, but yes, busy week. I color blocked it. I feel like it turned out good-ish. No, it turned out good. I should say it turned out good, but... Like I said, I learned a lot and this font matches so perfectly with the theme. So yeah, it was fun. It was fun to try this, tr fun to try printable kits because I never thought I would. And then it was fun to use this art in this kit because it's just fun. It's just fun spring vibes. And then I was like, okay, this is my last like spring anytime kit. We're moving into summer. I waited till the middle of May and that's about all I could do. And I love this. I went like started with the bang and I did this. I forget what this is called. It's from Sugar Pop Fizz. And the colors like this purple with the hollow. I mean, oh, so good. It's so good. And I feel like it might be like a tad chaotic because I didn't color block it. But I just really wanted just all the colors, couldn't decide, and I love the purple, and yeah, it was a good time. Then this was the week, it was Memorial Day weekend, we went on a camping trip that ended up being awful, but nonetheless, there was like a lot of prep that went into it, and um, a lot of getting stuff ready. So I feel like I'm still glad I used this kit because it marked kind of like a big event and adventure. I paired it with copper foil and I guess you could see the underlays more, but it's copper polka dots. And let's see, anything important? Not really, but yeah, love this spread. I've been wanting to use it. It was like the August or July mystery, like 2020, I want to say, like a long time ago. 
then oh this is terrible that was just more like i had to write some stuff down it wasn't pretty but then we get into june and i adore this spread i color blocked it it's a kit from glam planner i got it last year on glitch and it's just so cute i just love it so much i love the little palm tree and gold i did the gold kind of like with sand but i guess i didn't use gold that much because i didn't use bougie boxes but anyways I love this spread so much. I think it's one of my all-time favorites. And this week was such a good week because I remember talking about this. It was just like a really fun week at school. I won an award. My husband came at my class. Got to watch Sing 2 for the first time. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was just a good week. And we were just like rolling into the end of the year. We're really fast. It's my nephew's birthday. It was fun. Good time. Then I use this late kit and again, color blocking at Sugar Pop Fizz kits is just like my all time favorite thing. I kind of paired it with hollow foil. I did these hollow suns from H Plana Hannah and this was my dog's first birthday. I love this little moment with the balloon. And there were, yeah, I just was in full, full summer mode here. All right, this was the last week of school which is wild. It was such an emotional roller coaster, but it was really good. So I used this party shark party kit from SPC because it was a celebration and I really wanted to mark this. So it was like such an end of an era, closing up the chapter of the year, closing up the chapter of being at my school and packing up my classroom, all that stuff. So this was good, good week. And it was fun to use like such a big kit like I feel like it kind of made the week extra special if that makes sense then this was take two for a printable kit it's, it's called um I think it was called seaside from apple blossom prints this was cute I paired it with hollow foil I did header overlays which I quite literally never do I could not tell you the last time I did that so that was fun and fun to play around with printable foil again um, let's see, went to a Sounders game, which was fun, um, oh, my dog ate a peach pit, so she had to go to the vet, and, like, an emergency visit, had an, like, anti-date with my nephew, so that was fun. Then it brings us to the last spread in this planner, sorry if this is, like, super long, but this is my 4th of July spread, another printable kit from Pink Planner Co, which is, I'm not sure if I said this, that's the one, the groovy, do, 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 do. there we go, that's from Pink Planner Co as well, which is my preferred printable shop, and this is called American Babe, and... I color blocked it as you can tell this is not the week of 4th of July but 4th of July is like the next day and this is kind of when we were out and doing like fun summer stuff so I wanted a fun summer kit so uh, that is my January through July recap video let me know if you have any questions or favorite spreads or if you've used any of these spreads during this time whatever let's chat Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye everyone.